Hi, and welcome to Exchange Reporter Plus. In this video, we will talk about the various prerequisites for Exchange Server Audit Reports and the ways to configure them. Exchange Server Auditing is the latest addition to Exchange Reporter Plus, bringing in a whole new set of functionalities to track, audit, and report on unauthorized or accidental mailbox logon attempts. Critical changes to mailbox permissions or properties can also be audited. Exchange Reporter Plus gathers all the required information from the event logs of Exchange servers and domain controllers and generates the required audit data. Exchange Reporter Plus offers the following four categories of audit reports. Mailbox Logon Reports, Mailbox Permission Changes Reports, Mailbox Property Changes Reports, and Exchange Store Changes Reports. To generate Mailbox Logon Reports, Diagnostic logging configuration is mandatory across all the exchange servers. Similarly, for mailbox permission and property changes reports, configuring default domain controller policy and object level auditing is a basic necessity. Now, we will see how to configure exchange auditing. On installing Exchange Reporter Plus and after adding an exchange organization, click on the Audit tab and select Audit Configuration. Click on the Configure Now option to get started with Exchange Server Auditing. The credentials provided should satisfy some conditions. For a single domain exchange forest, the user credential provided should be a member of Domain Admins Group. If Exchange Management Shell is available where the product is installed, then the user credential should also be a member of Exchange Organization Management Group. If there are multiple domains, then make sure that the user credential is member of both Exchange Organization Management and Enterprise Admins Group. Now I provide the credentials that are required. Click on the Exchange Server tab to see if automatic configuration is triggered. In this case, diagnostic logging is not configured due to the unavailability of PowerShell. For all exchange servers detected in your organization, diagnostic logging should be configured. You can manually configure diagnostic logging by using the PowerShell commandlet that is shown above. Log in to any one of the exchange servers and execute the command. Ensure that the server name is correctly replaced while configuring for the other servers. Alternatively, you can also click on the help link to get server specific PowerShell commandlet. Copy this command and execute it in the exchange server. This automatically configures diagnostic logging for all the servers. After the configuration is over, all the available data from the event logs will be fetched. If there is no data in the event logs, wait for the desired audit event and event collection to happen. When data is fetched for even a single server, the error message will disappear. In addition to using PowerShell for configuration, Exchange Management Console can also be used. Click on the Help link to see the steps for the configuration. For Exchange Server 2007 and 2010, Use the Exchange Management Console. In the console tree, go to the server configuration and click on Mailbox. Right click on the server and go to Manage Diagnostic Logging Properties. Now, once the wizard page is up, expand MS Exchange IS. On expanding, you would find 9000 private. I expand that and then I choose log on as service. Set the logging level as expert and then click on configure. If it is a 2003 exchange server, we can use the exchange system manager. In the console tree, expand the administrative group, then go to first administrative group. On expanding, I would have servers. I right click on the server and I go to its properties. Now in the properties window I would have a tab diagnostics logging under which I select MS Exchange IS. I expand that and I click on mailbox. Now in the right pane 
I select log on S category and I set the logging level to maximum and then I click on apply and OK. This configures diagnostic logging on Exchange servers and the mailbox logon reports can now be accessed after event collection has happened. Click on the Domain tab to see the various domains listed for your Exchange organization. For each domain, the default domain controller policy and the object level auditing should be configured to gain access to mailbox permission and property reports. If the credentials entered have sufficient privileges, then the domain controller will be automatically configured. In this case, the default domain controller policy is not configured because the product is not installed in an exchange forest. Under such cases, it should be configured manually. Log on to the domain controller using an administrator account. After logging into the mission, I open up the group policy management console. I navigate to the forest name and now if it's going to be a 2003 server, open the domain controller security policy. So now, after I've navigated to the forest name, I expand it. I go to the domain. On expanding the domain, I would have group policy objects. I expand group policy objects and I right click on default domain controller policy and then I go to edit. Now that I have my group policy management editor console up, I navigate to computer configuration, then I go to policies, I go to window settings, and then I go to security settings under which I go to local policies. Now I double click on audit policy. In the right pane, I double click on audit directory service access. I enable both success and failure settings. I click on apply and OK. Similarly, I double click on audit object access. I enable success and failure and then I click on apply and OK. Now let's have a look at object level auditing. Object level auditing also depends on the credential privilege. It is configured automatically since the credentials have sufficient privilege. It can also be manually configured. Open the Active Directory users and computers on the domain controller. Once the console is open, select Advanced Features from the View menu. In the left pane, right click on the domain and go to its properties. Under the Security tab, click Advanced to open the Advanced Security settings for the domain. Under the Auditing tab, click on Add to add the security principle object to which the policy will be applied. Enter the object name as Everyone and click OK. Now this would open the auditing entry for the entire domain. Specify the Apply Onto field as Descendant User Objects for Windows Server 2008. If it is for Windows Server 2003, then select User Objects. Click on Successful for the following properties. The first one being Write All Properties and the second one Delete. The third one Modified Permissions and the fourth one all extended rights and then click on OK. On configuring, all the available data from the event logs will be fetched. If there is no data in the event logs, wait for the desired audit event and event collection to happen. With the entire configuration completed, you can now audit any unauthorized mailbox logons, any critical changes made to mailbox property or permission or any store mount or dismount. Upon clicking the audit configuration under the audit tab, we can see the status as configured. The last event read time indicates the last time when the events were fetched. 
The event fetch interval indicates that data collection will happen every two hours which can be customized according to your needs using the drop down arrow. Alternatively, you can also click on the run now option to trigger event collection to happen at once. Now that all the configuration is done, I click on the mailbox send us permission changes report. With this report, I get details on all the send us permission changes within the selected time period. In this report, the user named administrator has changed permissions associated with the mailbox named John. The associated timestamp information is also listed. By clicking on the remarks column, we can get the access control entry that was added or modified. Similarly, click on the other reports of your choice under the audit reports category, change the time period, filter the values if needed, and generate the audit data. For more information, please log on to www.exchangereporterplus.com. Thank you.